Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3 back with another kicking action figure review. Last time we reviewed the 1954 poster version, NECA Godzilla, and today we are reviewing uh, the most recent one, or most recent one at the time of recording anyhow, the 1964 Godzilla from NECA. Uh, I really like the boxes, in package collectors will really like these current NECA Godzilla boxes. As you see, you got the movie poster on the front. Pretty cool. Featuring 62 Godzilla for some reason. Never understood that. Um, poster on the side. Godzilla against Mothra. You can see images of the figure on the back. A nice read-up of the movie. Same on the side. Mothra against Godzilla. Legal stuff. But then the box opens up. Very cool. See the uh, image of Godzilla. There's Godzilla himself within, and you also have the Mothra larva at the bottom, and Mothra herself at the top. Very, very cool packaging. So in package collectors, uh, it's already a win for you. But I myself, I'm going to open it. Here we have the NECA 1964 Godzilla out of package. And he's pretty good. The sculpt is quite incredible. Uh, at first I thought he might be a bit thick for... The 64 Godzilla, but I think it was just the scale that made me feel that way because my other 64 Godzilla is an undersized monster art. So, I think that's just because of the scale difference I feel that way after holding him in my hand and everything. He's a good figure. I do have a couple complaints. Um, first off, he can be pretty stiff. Uh, the arms and tail, head and neck, all that moves fine. Uh... You know, you can see the torso moves fine. It's the legs. The legs are really stiff and don't want to move really much at the knee. And they're really tight just at the top of the legs as well. Uh, maybe a hair dryer or some warm water or something can help fix that. Uh, I've heard you should do that to pretty much every neck of figure, to be honest. But uh, at least the fingers move on this one, unlike my uh, poster version 54. But he's a pretty cool fig. Uh, the 64 Godzilla is one that doesn't get made a lot into figures these days. So that's just really exciting. I like how we're finally getting some nice Showa pieces from the NECA Godzilla line. Because we got that 62. And I, the 62 is a must-have for my collection. Because I didn't have any 62 Godzillas. But the 64 is really nice as well. I think they captured the head pretty well. I've heard people say they don't think the head is right. But I think it looks pretty good, to be completely honest. Uh, the paint is incredible. You can see the spines are painted very, very well. Um, just once again, the sculpt is fantastic. Since he has a thicker tail, it's articulated all the way down. Which means uh, no bendy wire. But yeah, the tail fully articulates. You got a knee bend, knee swivel, uh, kind of a rotation on the foot. It's supposed to rotate up here as well, but it's real tight, you know. Uh, rotates here, arms move all around. Wrist, elbow, everything, head and neck. Lots of great articulation on this here Godzilla. And if you pop his little tiny mouth open, it can. he comes with this um, beam effect, which is also painted pretty nicely. And my problem with this is that eh, since his mouth is so tiny, it can be a little difficult. It's not so bad, see? Like, it works. Uh, but, you know, one little knock will probably knock it out of the mouth, which ain't super great. Uh, I've had other beam effects from this line staying better, but that's just because his mouth is so tiny. He's got a tiny little baby mouth. So that's... You know, that. Still a very, very cool figure. So now we're going to move on to size comparisons. Pop that out. Uh, push back our Godzilla to the wall here. Zoop! And now let's compare him with a couple other Godzillies. Uh, here we have the NECA Atomic Blast 2001. And the Bandai Creations Godzilla 2004 from Final Wars. So he'll look pretty nice with some other Godzillas. Uh, those are all American figures. And just in honor of the uh, next Godzilla movie to be released, here he is with the Mezco Kingu Kongu. And they actually look pretty cool together, I think. I like that a lot. So, final thoughts on the 1964 NECA Godzilla. 
he's pretty cool. Uh, this is definitely one that's going to be in my collection for a long time. I just love the NECA Godzilla line. It's one of my favorite toy lines out now. The majority of what I'm... Because I'm not really collecting Marvel and DC and stuff anymore. I'm mostly just collecting Kaiju and Tokusatsu heroes. So this and the Lightning Collection are really keeping me grounded these days. Really love this NECA Godzilla figure line. And I'm happy they're finally doing some nice Showa Kaiju. I can't wait to see what they reveal next for this new year. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to review next time. Let me know in the comments what you want. I can review a Universal Monster figure, a uh, Pacific Rim figure, or another Godzilla figure. I'll let you guys pick. So that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.